Hey everybody, this is Army Guy Autographs, and I had a huge mail day. As you can see, Hall of Fame Autographs sold 2 out of 4, actually 4 out of 6. So, I'll start with the BGS pickups. I got 1964 NFL Champion, Mike McCormick, NFL Hall of Famer, the Cleveland Browns, Willie Stargell, great pirate kind of pissed off because he didn't put any protection inside the bubble wrapper and it all chipped off so i'm going to contact him i really don't want to return it because it was a good deal but maybe he'll hook me up with a couple bucks or give me free shipping or something i don't know it's kind of crappy because it doesn't look good now it's all like a whole section gone of the thing it doesn't affect the card but i mean you know when you're a dummy and you don't know how to ship um you got to pay, I think. Now, I don't want to, like, all my money, but, you know, throw a little bit. Um, I learned this when I was selling some graded cards for somebody and uh, on a consignment. And, you know, you, you all, it's free. You just go grab some cardboard and put it on each side. You're good. But nonetheless, okay, now to the TTMs. Obviously, Monday is usually a big day for me on TTMs. I don't know why, but no complaints. I love it. So I'll start with, so I'm a huge Buckeyes fan. Everybody knows this. This is the guy that, from his loins, created two of the last three defensive rookie of the years for the NFL. Nick and Joey Bosa. So, from his nethers came two guys that went to the same school, were studs, were top picks in the draft, and became the defensive rookie of the year for the nfl two out of the last three years from his loins funny story about the bosa brothers one was here for four was there at ohio state for three years and uh, he was in a specific dorm room and then the day that he cleared out to go and train for the nfl draft his brother moved straight into his locker into his same dorm room so for six years they had two bosa brothers in the same room kind of cool then, a guy that should be in the Hall of Fame, but is not, Dave Parker. Um, he's had sporadic returns. I actually mailed it about two weeks ago when it's already back. And he threw it in a, in a top loader for me, which was kind of cool, right? I mean, and that's pretty. Look how beautiful that auto came out on his rookie card. So, yep. Rookie card, Hall of Fame. All these are rookie cards. And then... This one was expensive for the raw card, and he signed it. That came back quick. That's gorgeous. And this one, his handwriting's starting to go, so I wanted to make sure I got it soon. Um, but, yeah, that one's also expensive. That was like a $50, $60 card um, raw. So all these are rookie cards, two or three Hall of Fame rookie cards, two or four Hall of Fame rookie cards. Look at that. That's pretty. But anywho, that was a big mail day. Y'all have a great day. Army Guy Autographs. Peace.